Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. Today I'm going to show you a hidden grease hole on this FS38, still FS38 lawn trimmer. Now this hole is hidden very well and what it does, it allows you to grease the trimmer head. There's a bearing in there that needs to be greased and I'm going to show you exactly where it is today and how to grease it. Alright, so the grease port is in here. You have to remove this shield here first and remove the head and I'll show you exactly where it is. As long as no mosquitoes bug us, we'll be alright. So the first thing you want to do is unscrew this part here, the bump cap. Don't mind the mess of my garage guys. It's just one of those things. I'm always busy doing something and the garage it always gets neglected, the cleaning part of it anyway. So you remove the head, and there we go. And it's this part here, right here, where everything bolts onto. Up in here is a bearing that needs to be greased. Now this one don't sound too bad. I greased it last year at the beginning of the season, and I'm going to do it now. I suggest you do that at the beginning of every season. Oh, wrong screwdriver. We're not there yet, I'm skipping parts. There we go, just take that out. Got the nut with it and keep it together like this. Put that aside and this will just slide right off of here. Take that off. And now, here's the secret bolt you have to remove and it's holding on this part here that your shield clamps onto. See the bolt right there? So we're going to take that bolt out as well. I'm going to just turn that out. Slide that out of the way. And what happens in here, there is like a, this, this part here goes up in here like this. And there's a hole in that part as well and the shoot grease will just shoot right in there and get to the bearing. Now what I would normally do is I'd have a little hand pump grease gun and it looks like a screwdriver. And what do you do is you take the cap off, you put grease in it. It's got a small tip that will go into this hole here, but I can't find my handheld grease gun. Luckily I have this tip here that I can use. I just put this on before the video started and I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can get a hand pump grease gun for this. Darn mosquitoes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just put the tip into the hole here and we're just gonna pump some grease into it. As you can see, it's probably pretty full because the grease is coming out. Oh yeah, I can feel the, the, the resistance from the grease in there now. So that's it guys, that's the hidden hole that you should grease. Because you don't want this wearing out or else you have to replace the whole thing. So we'll put everything back together. So we'll go ahead and put everything back together. I already put this on. It's pretty easy. Self-explanatory. Put that back on. And then we'll put this back on. The, the line spool, trying to just slip the line back through the holes. That just slips in the place. You give, give, give it a little turn there and it'll stay in place. Then you can put their bump cap back on. Snug it up, pull your strings, she pops, it's good to go. Okay, now that you know where that hidden grease hole is, I hope that really helped you out. At the end of this video, there will be two images. I'll send you to videos. One will be showing you easily how to re-spool the line on your trimmer. And the other one will be why your line doesn't feed properly. You can go ahead and watch those videos. Don't forget to leave me a comment below if you like this video. And don't forget, down in the description, there's going to be a link to that that handheld grease gun where you can go find one of those. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. 
and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.